All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. And in today's trip, Billy and I are out here fishing inshore in my 22 foot Sea Hunt Bay boat, looking for redfish, flounder, trout, sheep's head, black drum, anything that will either bite a live shrimp or a gulp swimming mullet. So it's gonna be a good day out here on the water. So you guys come join me for the trip. All right, so the boat's getting set up and let's kind of talk through a game plan of what we're going to try to establish today. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a live shrimp, you guys. We're keeping it as easy as possible. Summertime is here. Water temps are 85 to 87 degrees right now. And it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Probably as the day goes on, we may get close to that 87 degree mark, which is hot, hot water. So anytime you're out here fishing in the summertime, use live bait lean on live bait the artificials will still work but you're going to get a, a better yield with the live stuff now also with these summertime trends you want to be fishing around areas where you have good amount of current flow now this point right out here in front of us has a good amount of current coming down as the tide is starting to pull out and if you notice right there where billy just landed there's a little bit of a rip kind of a current seam <laughs> oh baby <laughs> and he just hooked the trout <laughs> but this is what i'm talking about guys this this is a textbook type of spot you need to find somewhere where water is moving right oh that's a good trout another good one heck yeah that's man smaller. yeah so actually this is funny enough this is one of the videos that i did on uh, patreon about a couple weeks back on my spot exposed series where i talk about how to fish specific spots why to be in certain areas how to look for these types of things, how to fish at high tide, outgoing tide, low tide, et cetera. It's literally a blueprint for how to fish in a specific area based on my experience in these same kind of spots. So Billy is, uh, he's on his way there with the first one on the boat. So I'm gonna get a shrimp in here, see if I can get in on some of this action. But I'm telling you guys, this is where you wanna be during the summertime. I'm down. A little shaky head. Boy, they are. They are stacked up on that point, man. Now this is a little guy. Billy pulled at 18 and a half. And then that last one you got you guys just saw was right around 15. And this girl right here. She'll go back. <laughs> Probably a, a 13 inch trout. Not bad, but again, right there on a point, all that water starting to come down, just like that, and boom, they are gonna stack right there in the current, nosed in, waiting for that bait to creep right down the edge. All right, so here's the rig that I'm gonna be throwing today. It's just a standard pop and cork rig. I have a 30 pound monofilament top shot, about 12 inches of the bat, right above this four horseman cork. Now below this cork, I've stepped up to a 30 pound monofilament leader because we're going to be fishing around the oysters and whatnot. And with the water quality is a little bit darker today, these fish aren't going to mind seeing a little bit of a heavier leader. So right above this little two watt circle hook is a uh, just a little bullet weight. And all that's going to do guys is just keep that lure down just like that. So every time I pop it and click it, it's going to come up in the water column and it's going to go right back down. And I have that leader set to about two feet in length. Now, as the day does progress on, I'll probably adjust my leader and go a little bit deeper or maybe even put on a slip cork because what you'll notice is fish are gonna shift a little bit deeper as the day goes on. Can you drop that raw tip down? I'm gonna go over here. Did you get another one? I let her come eat it. There you go. Another good one. Dropped oh. it. Man, they are, they are there, huh? It's good feeling. Yeah, it is. Hard to find in the summer like that. Four four fish we came in contact with right there in five five minutes. I'm on. It's another trout. Come on, baby. Love when a plan works out, huh? Alright, girl. What have you got going on? There we go. <laughs> 
Jeez. That's looking like a red. Trout. Oh, big, nice trout? Nice trout. Oh, yeah. That is a good trout. That. Nice trout. Wow. Nice 18. Yeah, that's a fatty there. On that current seam? Right on the point, about four feet off. Yeah. Boy, look at that pretty girl. Woo! <laughs> that's a good fish, man. Woo! Man, that was a good good move there. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Nice. That's the one we're looking for. Yeah, look at that hook. Barely in. <laughs> that's what you get with the old mustard mouth. <laughs> Call that skin hooked. Got another one? Trout, yeah, working the grass edge. Woo! That right there will keep. Nice fish. All right. That is six trout in 15 minutes. I'm gonna come right through there. I was just talking to Billy about how I might drop a Carolina rig down. Yep. So they've shifted. They're not on the point, they've shifted up just a little bit. That's something to look for, you guys. Fish move. If you keep throwing the same spot and it's not producing any fish, don't keep throwing that same spot. Start fan casting, start spreading everything out. That's a good one too. Yeah, better quality than mine. Be careful. Was oh, that a ticket? 13. That's a ticket. Oh, I'll keep my hand on her right here. So, pinched out on the nose. 13 and three quarters. In the state of Georgia, they got to be 14. If it's close, let them go back, especially when you're on them like this. All right, here we go. Carolina rig. Horn hook shrimp, 2-0 circle hook, 12 inches of 20 pound monofilament leader, small little spro barrel swivel, glass bead, half ounce in weight. These things are super easy to tie and they're extremely effective for bottom fishing. Now I am also hand tying these and selling these on my website so if you're interested in just getting some of these hand tied lures where you don't want to have to waste the time, energy, effort in tying your own, I'll tie them for you and you can purchase them from my website. The link will be in the description down below. Let's see, get that Carolina rig in there. Oh yeah, right there. Getting eaten. Fish on. A little rat red or a trout? Rat red, so they were right there in that pocket where that bait is. There we go. Little guy. Redfish in Georgia have to be 14 to 23 inches. That is our slot. Can't go above 23. Can't keep them below 14. Wow, those shells come way out on this bend. Oh, no, I just had a fish. <laughs> Jeez, man. These redfish are digging the gulp, man. I go from getting snagged up to pop in another little guy. I got one finally. Oh, <laughs> wasn't a croaker. It's a trout, so they're a little deeper. So let's go ahead and get off this, this edge. So they've dropped, they've dropped back. I almost pulled that fish right off the corner of this boat here. I'm sure she was following it up, but they're not on the grass edges right now. They pulled back. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what are you? This thing didn't even know he's hooked. No, just the trout. The trout are deep, man. Mm -hmm. Boom. Unless that's a trout. Nope. What is that? Oh, lost it. Dang. That was a good fish right there. I don't know. It, it, it started working like it was a little whiting. And then it really came on and got loaded. Man, I either had that fish foul hooked or that was a quality fish. You guys saw that rod, man. That thing was, was bent over pretty good. 
they're way off, man. Way off. I keep throwing to the point and just working all the way back and they're hit they're hitting like 40 feet off the edge. There you go. Trout right off that point on the bottom. I'm gonna get your head down. Another LG little guy. All right, guys. Well, Billy's gonna go ahead and uh, take our bled fish, throw them on ice there, and we're gonna relocate spots. This was a very, very hot spot to say the least, first thing in the morning. But what happened is, is everything died off just as soon as that current dropped out. And that's something that you can expect to see during just about any month fishing in Georgia, South Carolina, the whole mid-Atlantic region. When that current slows down, the bite is also gonna slow down. So when it does, take that opportunity to relocate. Maybe go to a new spot, maybe retie some new rigs, maybe have some lunch, get something to drink, rehydrate, etc. So that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ice these fish down. I'm gonna grab myself a sandwich and we're gonna get set up on the next spot because I wanna be in this general area or the next general area when all that water's coming out and see if we can find some nice big redfish. All right guys, so we're gonna change gears and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to do a little sheep's head fishing on the bottom with those live shrimp that we do have. Now we are surrounded by thunderstorms. We have a big one to the south that we had to outrun. There's one growing right over here to the north of us that we need to keep an eye on. And uh, the wind is also starting to pick up, but that's not gonna affect the style of fishing that we're gonna do. And I'm hoping that with this barometric pressure on the fall, this should get the fish excited to eat. So. We're going to drop some shrimp down and see if we can find some sheep's head. There we go. This little guy right here looks good. Flicking around. Close that. Gotcha. What are you? <laughs> it's a trout down there, believe that? Trout. Yeah, right below the boat. That real subtle bite. Boy, I have caught my fair share of small fish today. I am on a little trout mission. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, come on up. Is that yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Come on up. There's my red. <laughs> there's it. There's my overslot. Oh, oh boy. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's nice. There we go. Here's our beautiful Georgia redfish. Probably coming in at about 22 inches or so. A little bit fatter on her, and she'd be a good tournament candidate. But got her on the live shrimp on that little bottom sheep's head rig. We'll go ahead and get her back in the water. Let her live to fight another day. <laughs> all right, guys, well, we gotta get out of here. This storm is about to dump on us. It's lightning all back here in the background. And my wife just called and said, hey, are you watching that storm? Uh, yeah, we're watching it, about to watch it hit us. But not a bad day of fishing, guys. Redfish, flounder, trout, black drum, toadfish black tip everything but a sheep's head which is crazy to think we wouldn't pull be able to pull a sheep's head off of these docks now we didn't have a good amount of time to fish and we only hit this area for about an hour or so uh, but you know what we got to go so i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for support don't forget hit that thumbs up on your way out and i'll see you on the next one take care you guys god bless